Well, this is tonight, and Arsenal fans have been nipping away at me here on the old message board. Uh, when are you going to talk about Arsenal? We're going to do it now, because Porto play Arsenal tonight. It's the Champions League round of 16 first leg, and it's live on TalkSport 2, Andy Townsend. The excellent Andy Townsend uh, over there with Jim Proudfoot. Um, Simon, Darren Bent, uh, speaking on TalkSport, was interesting about this. And if it came to winning the Champions League or Arsenal winning the Premier League, Darren, let us know where he stood. A lot of football fans always say that Arsenal, they, yeah, they know that they're a big club, but because you you always go in your history, you got one European trophy. Yeah, which is right. You haven't win the Champions League. Th there's no argument anymore about anything. Champions League, come on now, you need to you need to tick that box. It's Manchester City win Premier League every year. What's the one thing people say? I know, to them? but I'm talking about Arsenal, who fell off a cliff last year. Yeah, you've got two of the great sides ever in the Premier League in Liverpool, yeah. Man City, and League. you could beat them to yeah. win the Premier League. You'd rather you'd rather beat Real Madrid in the final. Or it City. might not be. <laughs> yeah, would I would. You? We need, Arsenal need that. Also, okay. a big club without the Champions League, come on. What would it tell us, Simon, if Arsenal under Mikel Arteta can actually do this and win the Champions League, something they failed to do in 2006 against Barcelona and Paris. I watched them that night under Wenger. But what would it tell us under Arteta if they can lift this thing? It would tell us they can compete in a tournament that has 13 or 17 games involved in winning a cup competition. Um, it would tell us what it told us about Chelsea when Thomas Tuchel won the Champions League with Chelsea. I would think Arsenal, whilst wanting to be very competitive in the Champions League and will win what's ever in front of them, if I'm an Arsenal fan, I want to win the Premier League. You know, Sunes talks about um, the discussion about legends in the Premier League and, and says that any manager that wins a Champions League is a legend by association, so that must make um, Di Matteo a legend by that logic. Um I think Arsenal have a chance to win the Premier League this year. And the more I'm seeing of them... You say prioritising that? Well, I don't think you have to prioritise it. I think the decks will fall the way they do. Whoever they draw in the Champions League will take care of itself. They won't. They, I, don't think, I don't think he'll ease off in the Premier League in pursuit of the, of the uh, Champions League. The, they will just fall where they fall. And if they get to a Champions League final, they'll get an opportunity to take that and they'll take the Premier League as well if they can. I think they're really um, in the groove at this moment in time. I think they're being helped with due respect by some inept performances by certain sides. You know, that Burnley was shocking. West Ham were just as bad. Palace were woeful. Now, I'm not trying to take anything away from Arsenal because they smashed those teams and well done to them because you can only beat what's in front of you. And they've beaten Manchester City and they've beaten Liverpool. So they're answering all the questions. They're not, they're not just beating the sides that they should beat. They're beating the sides that are potentially perceived to be above them. I think Arsenal are in with much more of a shot than I gave them credit for. You know, I thought that they'd do well this year to maintain their position. Mm. And we may yet, they may yet fall away, but there's no evidence at this moment in time that everything is not rosy in the garden. They don't have a centre forward, yet they're sharing 20-odd goals around the team in four or five games. Um, again, I make the point, you know, Burnley weren't much to play against on the weekend. No. Neither were Palace, and West Ham were shocking in that game. But they've beaten Liverpool, they've beaten other sides around them, so you have to give them real, real kudos to being in this Premier League race and it is a real race between the three teams at the, at the top um, I still think it'll end up with Manchester City but I, I I also wouldn't be surprised but going back to your original question yeah um, they could win the, uh, the I, I, don't, I don't know why it has to be an either or you know I don't know I, w I wouldn't get into I'm not an Arsenal fan so I'm not going to get into the motivation of well, what does it, what, which one do you rather have well we always have these conversations don't we I mean it, if if the difference with the Champions League, although you're talking more games in the Premier League, Arsenal have won the league before. In 50 years and 100 years, when people, or 70 years, when people are looking back, they'll look at different teams that have won the league for Arsenal. If you're a player and you win the Champions League for the first time at a club, they're only looking back at you. Arsenal won the Champions League that year. That's that group, it. That group of players. That group. He scored the winner in the final. He scored the, you know, yeah. he, he did, he saved the penalty. He did this. Everything, the memories of the Champions League win will be greater than the memory of the league win. As a fan, it depends on what generation fan. A lot of these Arsenal fans who are more Simon's age and my age, or sorry, Simon's age, have probably seen Arsenal win many titles. Yeah. I'm joking, but, you know, older, fan, older fans will have seen Arsenal win yes. title after title after title. Oh, the but they, have, whatever, they yeah. haven't seen them win the Champions League. So I think it'll be a mixed bag in that one. I think more fans will probably want the kudos of winning the Champions League and the Premier League, but some will want the Premier League because they haven't seen it. Here's the thing, though, As Danny, a player, uh, Champions League, because you will remember the Arsenal forever. But, mate, at this stage, this is the potential banana skin tonight. 
It shouldn't because, be. Because since the last 16 was introduced in the Champions League, Arsenal have gone out of it at this stage more than any other side nine times. Yeah, they did, yeah. And we chained a great record. I think a couple of them were down to Barcelona and Messi giving them a good hiding. And one of them, I remember, being Munich, I think, with one of the good Munich sides. who they, they got a bit unlucky in a few of the draws. But yeah, it's not a good record at all. But this Arsenal side, I mean, I won't repeat what Simon's saying because I, I agree with a lot of what he said, are more than capable over two games especially of beating Porto yeah. Porto are third in the league they haven't got the superstars they once had they've got some talented younger players but they're not they're not a, they're not a threat to Arsenal if Arsenal are bang at it yeah they, mean, if Arsenal are bang at it they over two a one off game yeah of course if you're playing Porto away in a one off anything can happen but two games Arsenal will come through you see I was there in the night Simon and I identify with what Danny is saying on the night in Paris and they had Henri and and they had Saul Campbell, and they had a great team, and and they almost did it. Saul Campbell put them ahead, and if Lehman gets sent off, that would be the group of players Arsenal could always say those were the boys that lifted the Champions League. Yeah, and yeah. these could be the ones Declan and Odegaard and the rest. This could be it, and I kind of side with that. The Champions League, yeah, Premier League, sure they're in they're in the hunt, mm. and long long may they stay in the hunt. But if they can win the Champions I think they'll League, go all, I God. think they'll go all out for both. So I, I so think do I. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. I don't think there'll be any priority. So do I. No, you could yeah. argue there should be, but you can't in football. You, you, these opportunities don't come along. The the, the, the lesser powers in in Europe at the moment aren't uh, sorry, the, the so called bigger powers aren't playing great at the moment. More immediately, do they eliminate Porto? Absolutely. I'd be gobsmacked if they didn't go through over two games against Porto. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.